Righto, tell you there champs, no longer do you need a big bulky desktop to get powerhouse performance because I want to introduce you to Intel Hayden's Canyon Nook, next unit of computing. So you want to upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro or just get killer prices on Windows Office 2016 and cheap gaming keys, head on down to 09. Make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's going to make you go woo! All right, so if you guys are new around here, come on, get on the woo train, subscribe. And if you like or hate this video, you know what to do. Now I know just looking at it, you're thinking that can't be that powerful. It's like five and a half by eight and a half inches. You know, around an inch thick, small, light. It's basically the size of a 15-inch gaming laptop's power supply. But don't be fooled by the size of this, because this basically has desktop performance. And I'm talking the performance levels here of an Intel i7-7700 quad-core. And the power of basically an RX 570 and more power than a GTX 1050 Ti. It's like in between a 1050 Ti and a 1060. So this thing here is powered by Kaby Lake G. Now Kaby Lake G is basically the CPU and GPU that is in the XPS 15 2 in 1. But this one's the hardcore version. This is the 100 watt version with the i7-8809G and the Vega MGH. Whereas the one in the XPS 2 in 1 is the GL version and it has a 64 five watt thermal limit there so this is significantly more powerful i've seen them in australia about 1200 1250 something like that that's bare bones in the us just under a k you will have to install your ram ssd m.2 ssds you can buy them already loaded up with ssd and ram but that will cost more so it's not exactly cheap but there's nothing really like this. Now, if you have a look at the top, that cool skull that lights up, it'd be great for Halloween coming up, wouldn't it? It looks pretty cool. And look how many ports it has. It has every single port you want. And it can output to six displays. Yes, I said six. And that's more than most desktops. We're talking, you know, dual four-lane Thunderbolt 3s, USB-Cs, mini display port, HDMIs, a load of USB 3.1s, some with PowerShare, you also have an SD card reader and you even have two gigabit Ethernet ports. I mean, it literally has more ports than my desktop at the moment. You're not going to be lacking in ports. And this is great for someone that wants a mobile desktop. You know, it gives you full desktop power, but very mobile. Be great for home theater, for gaming setup, and it's very easy to install the RAM. Just a couple of Allen keys, take off the top lid, another screw, take off the top panel, and you're into the guts. And you have two RAM slots for up to 32 gigs, and you have two M.2 slots. And this one here had an Optane drive, and man, I can tell you now, I'm going to get an Optane drive. It's so responsive. So you can actually RAID those two M.2s together if you want, in RAID 0 or RAID 1. But how good is this going to be for video editing? Having one M.2 with your Windows and applications and having your data on the other drive and even for gaming in that sense as well. So quad core CPU, Vega graphics, plenty of power in such a small package, but you think it would overheat and no, it doesn't. When I was gaming in the 60s, maybe maximum CPU, GPU, there's even enough headroom for overclock. You can overclock the CPU to 4 gigahertz if you want. You can overclock the GPU by about 100 megahertz. Now, that is at the cost of noise. It will give you, you know, 7% improvement in gaming performance, but the noise comes. And talking about noise, it is very quiet. I was very surprised by that. What happens is the fan kicks in every now and then, and I would much prefer the fan to spin a little bit faster and create a little bit more noise than sort of going silent and then ramping up and then, yeah, going on and off. I just would prefer if it was one constant speed, but that can be fixed in firmware. But I was very surprised how quiet quiet it is gaming of course if you overclock it it will get loud i'll just leave it stock just trust me you get enough performance out of this we're talking pretty much any title 60 frames per second medium high settings and for video editing content creation i could play back 4k footage with color correction and I could even color correct on the fly with an adjustment layer with color corrections in it. That's just phenomenal performance for something so small. So this thing may be pricey, but there's nothing like this. And from a hardware point, a performance point, I can highly recommend this. It's quiet, doesn't overheat. You get powerhouse performance for video editing, gaming. You can throw anything at this thing. Very expandable, <laughs> every port you need. What is there really to complain about? Yeah, it is expensive, but imagine, you know, Apple made something like this, which they may do with the new Mac Mini. They may use this Cabby Lake G processor with the Vega graphics. Yeah, it would cost a lot more. 
and you wouldn't be able to upgrade it. So anyway, this thing can seriously replace your desktop. I'm very impressed with it. And I just hope they continue to produce these. Uh, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, tally ho.